Welcome to another Grievance Newscast. It is Sunday. It is beautiful. Welcome to the Mog House. And welcome to Wave Clear, your MOBA newscast. I'm Seth Zuko. Welcome to another episode of Debuff the Star Citizen Report. Welcome to the second exciting episode of Azeroth Almanac. I am your host, Eggy, along with all my other fellow hosts. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Grievance News from March what? 27th. It is Easter! And Yay. guess what? I've got an Easter egg. It's called Steelheart. Oh. Ooh. Oh, hey! <laughs> so, what up, peeps? Obviously, as you see, we've got Steelheart with us tonight. Uh, do we want a Rochambeau for who wants to take Black Desert? Oh, I'll um, try to decipher Scythe here. All right. <laughs> Okay, so apparently things are going very well in Black Desert Online. They now have both guilds bounced and are now preparing for war. Reminder to all those who want to play this game. While there is a ton of PvE content, this is a pure open world PvP game. Once you hit 45, open world PvP is going to find you. They have found like -minded P uh, a like-minded PvP guild to hang with on Baleness. You too. Not quite sure what that is, but okay. And are currently forge, forging an alliance. No regret, no remorse are good folk and seem very interested in working with Grievance. I've actually heard of them. Decent guild. They are taking a more aggressive stance on defending their territory. Their players last night chased away several of the more aggressive and jerkish elitist PvP guilds. Black Desert Online is buy to play. That means you buy the game and then you don't have a monthly subscription fee. If you want to play with anybody in Black Desert Online, get into TeamSpeak, contact Lord Scythe. He requires all members to put in applications, even if they've been in grievance for other games. These applications have to be an intent to join, not an intent to just have interests. They do not require the information that a new member needs to post. Remember, if this is becoming your main game, you must also post in the switching game forms. That's why we have them. There is a limit. There is limited space. Both these guilds cap out, I think, at about 100. Yeah, but ridiculously <laughs> low. Yeah, yeah, it's a PvP thing. Because of this, Lord Scythe is, removes players who are inactive for seven days unless they contact him somehow, some way. And, you know, obviously, if you have military or other duties or vacations contact Lord Scythe let him know hey I'm gonna be gone a week would you please not boot me from the guild if you do happen to be booted you'll be put on a waiting list to get back in um, so lost my place ha! <laughs> so and if you're playing the seven-day trial please do not ask for a guild invite until you decide to play the game and have purchased it he asks that any grievance members who come over and do not like the game, please let an officer know that you're not keen on playing the game and free up a spot. Hey guys, it happens. Sometimes you get in a game, you don't like it, it just doesn't speak to you. Be honest about it. Say, hey, Mr. Scythe, just not feeling it, bud. Take me off your list. Anyway, this will save the guild some in-game silver and it lets them get people off the waiting list faster than removing you after seven days inactive. Being in Grievance Black Desert Online is being in TeamSpeak. Most of the groups are a mixture of Dark Grievance, which is the second Grievance Guild there. Grievance and players ungilded waiting for a spot. This game has a steep learning curve. You want to be in TeamSpeak to ask questions and learn this game. There is a lot to it. Most importantly, have fun! Yeah, it's, and from what I hear, they're having fun up there, but man, 100 people per guild? Yeah, it's not like the old days. You know, I remember EverQuest, I don't even think there was a guild cap, and, you know, some of the new games like Saga, Leucemia, and, and Pantheon sounds like their guild cap's going to be like 1,000 plus. It, um, so, you know, this is, this is a PvP thing. We saw this in Arc Age to a certain point, and a lot of the PvP-oriented games do it, and it's it's... It's not to hurt gaming organizations or guilds in general. It's it's to try to bounce the PvP just a little bit. You look at us in Arc Age. We had a tremendous size guild going in there. We literally dwarfed tons of players that we went against. We didn't need to worry about tactics. We just zerged the crap out of them. 
Yeah. You know, so it's it's to kind of level the playing field a little bit. So I get it. I don't like it, but I get it. You know? Yeah. I, well, but, when, when you put it into those terms, yeah, I understand it a little bit better. Then you know it makes sense. You you, so you don't have like thousand people coming on everybody at once. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get because we got a lot of stuff tonight. Let's go ahead and go to Under Scrolls <laughs> Online. Uh, the guild took down the possessed uh, Manakora in Sanctum Ophidia Raid last Woo-hoo! Saturday. And they took down the Serpent uh, Last Boss in Sanctum Ophidia last night for the first time. So congratulations to our yeah. ESL people. Good job clearing that zone, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey, apparently his last boss, they finally took it down. Yeah. Awesome. Grass, guys. Yeah. And um, girls. Yeah, yeah. Get, don't forget the girls. Uh, there's an Easter egg hunt that was a big success last Sunday. Uh, the grand prize was a two-month subscription code, uh, with other prizes being gold materials and some other new items for the new Thieves Guild downloadable content. Uh, this Wednesday is their two-year anniversary, and they're going to be doing a Zero Dill Overworld PvP. Ah, so, two years! Congratulations, guys. Very good. Congrats, guys. Yep. Uh, Want to do Final Fantasy fourteen? Sure. I'll just alternate with you, brother. There we go. All right, Final Fantasy fourteen. The next filler patch is coming in a week and brings updates to Chocobo Racing, the next stage of Relic Weapon, New Quest, etc., etc., etc. The raid groups continue to fight through new raid content, and the guild continues to grow. Man, they got like four or five different raid groups. You ever seen that? <laughs> I've seen a lot. I still see a lot of people in there. I really I'll, do. I'll tell you what. It's a very active guild. It's still a very active game. They've they've really got a lot going on over there. Great leadership too. Oh yeah, I get. Yeah, I completely agree. <laughs> Twist so beard. It, yeah, no, go twist beard. Good job. Yeah. So, so anyway, the next scheduled major guild event is on April 16th. There will be a lot of great prizes for the winners. So keep an eye out for it. Keep an eye on the forums. Jump in TeamSpeak. Ask about it. Final Fantasy XIV should be exciting. Awesome. Ah, and we got some Rift news came in. Uh, the Rift is in the middle of its fifth anniversary celebration. Um, Five years. I know. Wow. I, I launched that game, dude. <laughs> it does not seem that long ago. Tell me, Steel, do you feel old? Uh, you know, kid going <laughs> to college, second kid freshman in high school. Oh, yeah, gaming, Rift, five years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, just seasoned. There you go. We'll, we'll go with seasoned. Uh, let's see, a uh, multi-core support introduction is still shaking the bugs out, uh, but is live on servers now. Uh, prior to this engineering chain, Rift only used one of your processor cores, so no matter how good your rig w- uh, was, frame rates were limited. Uh, now frame rates were improving significantly. That's interesting. I never noticed frame rate. No. Problems. Well... Uh, more works will be done uh, on the change lots of test content for patch 3.6 is on the public test server. Uh, they're bringing uh, new raids, tier 3 10 man raids. Uh, they're doing some UI tweaks, uh, mostly related to the Rift Store and uh, Bank Vault extensions. Uh, they're doing a daily rewards calendar similar to Arc Age. New quests for all. Uh, the introduction of subscriber only quests. Uh, mostly free to play games have this, but it's a uh, first one for Rift. Uh, they're doing an account-wide uh, sl- uh, ha- slash ignore finally. Oh, so time. yeah, everyone on ignore list across all your characters will be put in one account-wide list. Um, okay, so furthermore, if someone's character is on your ignore list, the whole uh, account becomes ignored. So that way, it's not just one character; it's everybody that he owns. Um, goodbye trolls and uh, new souls for all callings uh, warrior war chanter cleric rune shaper uh, rogue shadeborn primalist maelstorm mage frostkeeper and also soul improvements for many live souls and uh, i don't know <laughs> much about the souls so uh, they're basically class okay all right so um, you get if i'm correct you get three soul pass each um hierarchy class is based upon three so you can have like a you can be like a warrior but one of them might be in this is old school so these might not exist but one of them might be like swordsman the other one might be death knight and then the other one might be tank you know i know that's not a clad but and then all three of them those particular three are what would be your hierarchy class which are these and i'm sure these have different names name but um Anyway, it's it's based on it. It's a really unique and neat system. It works very well. All right, cool. 
All right. Um, Gin has some uh, gr uh, guild specific stuff. Uh, attendance and recruiting are way up. Uh, they have lots of returning members, and uh, they're excited, really excited to see them. Uh, they down a new boss, uh, although unfortunately they can't pronounce the name. <laughs> 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 the uh, Rift community refers to him as yogurt because no one can pronounce it correctly or even wants to. Uh, the weapons he drops are great, though. Uh, current raiding is focused on a 20-man content. Uh, they do a 10-man raids casually on and off days uh, or after hours. A uh, special shout-out goes out to Kujio for upgrading their DK DKP site. And uh, a thanks go out to all the Rift uh, Grievance for making the game experience great. I'll tell you what, I jumped in their recruiting meeting last, last week, and they had 40 people in that channel. Really? It's still a very, very active guild. They're doing a lot of things. Um, you know, when they get together and do something together, the team speak is, is really full. Good people in there. It's great to see the dedication, that's for sure. Absolutely. Five-year game, that's, that's almost unheard of nowadays, and most games don't last two or three years with that type of, that type of um, player base. So, uh, World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, our World of Warcraft guilds are doing good, but we'll get to that. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, tell us about Star Wars. Star Wars The Old Republic. Grievance Swotor Guild is go doing well. Both factions are up and running on the Jedi Covenant server. If you hadn't heard, they, um, they moved the Imperial Guild to the Jedi Covenant server. I think they're calling it Dark Grievance, something like that. Still Grievance Imperial Guild, still kind of an independent guild, but not independent. Um, it allows the guilds to help each other, because most people have... You know, if you're playing Republic, you have an Imperial tune. If you're playing Imperial, you have a Republic tune. So that they kind of help each other now with raids and stuff like that. It's it's brought a lot more interest into the actual guild as far as the game. And as far as I know, they're still raiding. Um, matter of fact, they've started raiding on the Imperial side, and they're pushing hard to recruit more folks to join them. Um, two new recruits. Welcome Billifer and Thunder Mayhem. Another new story chapter is out, Chapter 11. Let's players know where Havoc Squad has been up in up to or what Havoc Squad has been up to in the last five years. Uh, chapter twelve is in April with the Eternal Championship. Hopefully soon to follow. Not sure what the Eternal Championship is, but it sounds pretty awesome. Yeah, uh, and that's actually a good reminder because I've got a bounty hunter. I need to change servers. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, hey Aloe, I see you there smiling in in chat. Hello! Let's see, uh, WoW Alliance. The Alliance side has uh, got some new guild events starting up in a week or two. They're doing WoW Olympics! Uh, it, uh, this event was designed by their new task leader, Trodden, and sounds like he's done a great job. So they're really excited about that. Uh, they have two new task leaders to assist with raiding and to help out all around. So welcome Daxus and Ridiculous. Congratulations. Uh, as Lord Slice says, suckers. Suckers! <laughs> uh, Asiliara, uh, I can't pronounce very well, is a new task leader to assist with our already awesome recruitment officer, Grimmer. Uh, those two will gather some of the new release recruits into a great guild. Uh, the rating, as always, is going great with them drowning, uh, downing all of their heroics, so way to go. And uh, thanks go out to all their members for doing a great job within the guild. Um, Wow, Olympics, how will gnomes and dwarves do in the hurdles? <laughs> That's a good one, Damon. I'm not sure. Um, I, that actually, can we video, can we uh, record that? I want to see the, 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 the uh, dwarves doing, gnomes doing the, uh, doing the hurdles. Video or it never happened. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, wow, Horde, what's going on? All right, Horde is holding steady in Azeroth, still taking down bosses in both heroic and normal difficulties. Still running older content for mounts and pets. I was in a channel with them earlier, and they're getting a lot of mounts and pets. So I like pets. It's like, wow, Pokemon, but better than Pokemon, in my opinion. But <laughs> <laughs> um, However, they've just had a transmog contest, so head over to the forums, check out the entries, and help pick a winner. There's some really cool transmog there. Make sure you stop by those forums. I voted on the one I like. Not going to tell you what I like, but it's probably going to win because I voted on it. So, anyway. Actually, if you've been paying attention, in the lower left pane, I've actually had all uh, 11 images cycling through. Um, although they're kind of small, so it's kind of hard to see. But, uh, 
they've been cycling through there. Uh, and then, of course, I'm pretty sure nobody, nobody in the WoW guilds can forget, but uh, there's, this, there's this movie coming out this summer. Yes, the weekend before the get-together, there is a movie coming out. And it is going to be spectacular. It will be the <laughs> Warcraft movie. I know all of us are waiting for that. Yep, yep, definitely. So with this transmog contest, then everybody who entered it spent three weeks hunting for pieces for their perfect red carpet look. And like I said, the results are absolutely sensational. So make sure you stop by the forum, check check it out. See, I think it's in the WoW community forums. And um, voting ends Monday, so get your vote in. For those that have wanted to participate and weren't able to, uh, they're hoping to do another one soon. Keep an eye out. Um, there's a link to the forum topic there, which is going to do y'all absolutely no good. So <laughs> make sure. Ah, and Face Off did the makeup last week. Yes, they did, Aloy. I missed that. Um, other news: we have a game that launched called Division. Division is holding steady. It's it's the premise of it is that. New York in the world got hit by a smallpox disease on steroids, anarchy reigns, a specialized team called The Division has gone in there to restore order. It is a third person shooter, it's a lot of fun, so if you're looking for a good shooter, jump in The Division ch channel, talk to Nautica, talk to the guys and gals down there. Everybody's having a fun time shooting people. <laughs> in the head. <laughs> In the head. In the head. I, you know, there's no <laughs> bullet drop in this game, so you can well imagine the gl absolute glee I'm experiencing. <laughs> awesome. So yes, I think that wraps up our game and guild section news. Uh, one more thing. Okay. One more th um, recently they've instituted um, some type of clans or something in League of Legends. Be on the lookout for an announcement concerning this. We do have the grievance name in this new system. It's set up like guilds, has its own chat system. We're working out a few specifics for it. Look for some announcements on this by end week. You will actually, if you play League of Legends, actually be able to join a grievance guild in League of Legends now. Sweet. Awesome. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's go into some organizational news. Uh, Steel, what's up with the newsletter? Ha! Well, for those of you that didn't see it, Sky did an amazing job on this newsletter. It rocks. It's absolutely fantastic newsletter. Unfortunately, the file is freaking ginormous. So we tried twice to send it out. No... No, pretty much. Um, we were given the middle finger by the mailing system and a lot of people's emails and basically told what we could do with it. So Kugio has put it on the site somewhere, but we're going to get him to put it in the newsletter section coming up soon. It's still a work in progress. You will get it. You just may not be mailed about it. Um, so keep an eye on our social media. Keep an eye on the forums, and we'll get it to you. We will. It, it is a fantastic newsletter. Some people did, Aloy. Some people actually did. Others, no. Others did not. Yeah, I don't, um, think, I've, I don't think I've seen it. Where we're currently, um, with the website, working on some site changes. You'll, next three to four months, you're going to notice some homepage changes. Going to do away with a lot of junk we don't use anymore. Streamline it a little bit. Forum changes are coming, maybe. But no promises. Aww. No, we're working on it. <laughs> uh, but it, it's a slow process. We appreciate everybody being patient with us. It is being looked into. It is being worked on. So when it happens, it happens. Should be by the end of the year at the latest. So hopefully that'll be a pleasant surprise. It'll be a hell of a lot more mobile friendly too. I hope so. I hate Tapa Talk. I also just uh, the forums. But, you know, the forums on. will always be on Tapa Talk. They're they're PHP based. They're not. They're going to Tapa Talk is how you want to go on the forums. <laughs> it's um. It's just one of those things. Tapa Talk makes it easy. Use it. Yeah, yeah. It's not like it's rocket scientist science. <laughs> 
All right. Uh, do we not do promotions, or want to put off promotions towards the end? Well, the note I put there for promotions was to let everybody know I haven't started on them yet for this month. They'll get there <laughs> by the thirty first. Be patient. I'm only one man. I haven't had anybody jump up and say, "Hey, Steel, can I help your promotions?" Usually, when I start talking about it, people start logging out. Start logging out. Team speak. Yeah, yeah. So, sounds about familiar. Yeah, it is what it is. But um, they'll be done by sometime around the end of the year or no end of the month. <laughs> <laughs> it um, you know, we talked about doing yearly promotions to where everybody just gets promoted at the end of the year. It may be something we look into in the future. We've tried to automate this. It's really hit or miss. Tig's done a wonderful job working on it, but the you know we we instituted the next step in that a while back, and everybody got booted out of their groups. Now that's not to say we're not working on that still, but it is a work in progress to automate it. So we'll we'll get to them this month. We'll promote them. Usually takes me 24 to 48 hours worth of work to do it. So we'll get it. No doubt about it. Either that or we'll do away with the one years and you just start at two year. <laughs> Whatever. Nah, just kidding. Somewhat. <laughs> um, Cog. I've talked to Marissa in depth. She got her new computer um, Monday and then her motherboard has now gone out. So she's got another one coming. Anyway, expect some changes in COG coming. Um, as you can see, Wendell's stream lead now. So if you got any streaming issues, streaming, want to do some streaming, get with Wendell. He's a good guy. I think so. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, there, there's some COG, COG things coming. I know um, one of the things that's coming down is just going to be um, some recruitment changes and stuff like that. So just keep an eye out. It's coming. <laughs> Winter is coming. Yes. All right. Uh, do we want to move on to QuestCon? Um, let's tackle it after promotions. Okay. I will. I'll go ahead and start the one year. Give you give you a little bit of a break. Yay! So these are February promotions, as we just discussed. So congratulations for February one year members: Ams, Annalise, Asterian, Barrel, Billy Knit, Bleeding Heart. Cleopatraville. Oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and add a screen chapter so everybody can see how badly I'm screwing up their names. I think that's Cleopatra V. I'll take your <laughs> word for it. Let's see. Subregion. Keep in mind, these are one-year members. These people have been in grievance for one year as of February. Yes, yes. And there we go. We'll go with that. Yay! Now they're up on screen, so you got everybody can see how badly I screw up. All right, Cleopatraville, uh, De Demon Storm, Dorini, Duxin, Edura Ed Eduarez, Eldaron, Empt Boon, Irif, Farin here, Fat Slapper, Footloose Jarl, Hoko, Ixxam Ix. -ix Hockey Man 125, just some guy. Uh, Culture Dick, Christiana, Christiana, Leof, Mizu, Mikhail, My Thick, I A H D. So it must be My Thick something, but he's in high definition, or she's in high definition. I don't want to know. That'd be a Nick 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 336, Occupying, Nessa. Pico, Plun Crazy, Pokey, Rehine, Rathaya, Sarah, uh, Sagita, The Smasher, Trix. Oh, I can't. I better not. No, no, no. Troggle? Troggle. No, I was going back to Trix. Uh, Washborn, William Corner, Worgen Bob, Velden, Zanati, Zanati, Zuldrin, and Zrester. Those are one of your members. Congratulations. Yep, and keep in mind if you get a promotion and I haven't promoted you in TeamSpeak, find me. I'm not going to find each of you. I find most of you, but find me. All right, two year members. Congratulations on being in grievance for two years. Assurd, Azan, Akabar, Aragran, Anime Freak 24, Anti Hero, 
Afia, Banyan, Kaylee, Kalara, Dark Dawn Zero Two, Frodrick, Frost Thirty Three, Fusa Hunter, Hawk, Influenza, Irir, Callie, Carmel, Cat Cat Forty Two, Kriggles, Mufasa Seventy Five, saw him at Pensacon, Mytho, Nalfian, Provost, Pyrocumulus, Sapphire, Shake, Screeja, Squid, Serene, the Cyclone, not a Cyclone, the Cyclone, <laughs> Tyan, Wonton Bear, Rathen, Zafan, and Zexar. This is what happens when you do promotions with people after a couple years. You <laughs> learn to pronounce the names. Ah, oh, darn. Well, congratulations to your members. Good job. Woohoo! Three of your members, we've got Blight. Yay, Blight! Yay, Blight! Uh, Nastic Yo Yo. Nastic Yo Yo. Nastic Yo Yo! Yes. Grady, Magic Rules, Sejumaru, Sirmalek, and Thaman! Three years, yeah, right, Thaman! Thaman! He's actually in chat with yes, us, Yay! Congratulations! Alright! Everybody in Team Speak, roast them! Yay! Four-year <laughs> members. Most of these are going to be Star Wars The Old Republic members. Avis, Bishop, Cataclysm, Demon Llama, Freki, Gort, Killum, Kylo Ren, Lakshri, Mithraeum, Sadiha, and Mr. Wendell. Grats, brother. Apparently I have been here for four years. And he hasn't fled yet. I know. Hey, Cooch, what's up, my brother? <laughs> so congratulations to all the four-year members, including myself. I'll pat myself on the back. Yay! Uh, Five-year members, we've got... Ripties! Altinus, uh, Anise, Broccoli, uh, Dragon Poison, Foxtrot, congratulations, Foxtrot, Fu Manchu, Gormesh, Jack! Where's Jack when we need him? Ah, he made senior, though, didn't he? These people have made senior member now. First wow. major hallmark in grievance hierarchy. Oh, it seems like I've been here for four, longer than four years, though. Ah, oh. uh, next year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kaylin, um, Makirza, uh, Mr. Frenchie, uh, Placebo C6, Ragit, Ravechild, Shidmei, Thunderwolf, Vadrin, so those are our five viewer senior members. Congratulations, guys. Congrats, guys. And I'll finish it off, brother. Okay, I will let I'll... you have the honor. All right. Seven-year member, Stunner. Can you believe we've kept him around that long? <laughs> <laughs> nah, Stunner's a great guy. Grats, Stunner on seven. New eight-year member, Pyrol. Grats, Pyrol. Now, move on to the veteran members. To qualify for veteran member, you must have been in grievance for ten years. 11-year veteran member, Lugs. 12-year veteran members, Bricko and Sumladar. And, for the first time, outside of the founders, we have our first 15-year honored member, Wrenchin. Grats, Wrenchin. Congratulations, everybody. Very much so. Grats, everybody. Can't believe you stuck around with us. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you, everybody in chat. All right, so promotions are out of the way. Let's move on to QuestCon. What's Woo! going on? Man, I tell you what, we're busier than a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest. <laughs> I'll tell you. It's, um, it's, a, it's a lot of work, but it's going to be really, really rewarding. We, um, we had an Easter egg hunt yesterday, an Easter egg slash treasure hunt. And... Um, the weather just was not cooperating with us. It stormed all the way from Biloxi to Mobile, stormed for another three hours in Mobile, and then about 30 minutes before the Easter egg hunt, the sun came out. So we put it out on Facebook. We are not canceling this hunt. We will, If you want to come and reach into a bucket and grab eggs, then by God, come and meet us. 
And um, turned out we were the only hunt left in Mobile that didn't cancel, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, all things considered, and you got to imagine the, the storms that we had with this. All things considered, it um, we had right around, we, we estimate about 70 children there. We did three Easter egg hunts. It turned out that um, we were able to put them out in the drier parts of the grass, and they didn't care if they went out there and got their shoes wet or muddy or what, so they had a good time. We had um, Mobicon was there with us co-hosting the event. Great group of people. Um, several of their members were there helping us. A couple of We had a few founders with us. We had Kukos and Rough Lifer. Schmo came by. We had Caitlin. We had Miss Eggy, as you can see in the, in the picture there. We had Miss Eggy, one of the adventuring team members that drove from Memphis to to come and dedicate her time for the children. So it really, really, really went well. The Easter egg hunt was a great success. We are going to make it an annual thing, expand upon it. Um, we were doing it to bring awareness to the Penelope House, which um, helps abused women and children. It is, it is one of the more prolific charities in Mobile and based in Mobile. And um, so it, it all turned out well. We, we had a great show and had um, help from a local high school cosplay club, Murphy High School Anime Club represent. A couple of great girls from there came, helped, helped hide eggs, um, took pictures of everybody. It went very, very well. Great, successful pre-event. First pre-event for QuestCon. Sweet. Awesome. And, um, now, second pre-event for QuestCon. We are hosting a cosplay contest at the Alchemy Tavern on um, April 30th. We're inviting all the local cosplayers to come and join in. We're co-hosting this with Mobicon. It, um, so, first prize is going to be a $150 GameStop gift certificate, three-day pass to Mobicon, three-day pass to QuestCon. Second place is going to be a $100 GameStop gift, gift certificate, three-day pass to Mobicon, Saturday pass to QuestCon. Third prize is going to be a $50 game, uh, GameStop gift certificate, three-day pass to Mobicon, and a Sunday pass to QuestCon. So we've got a bunch of other stuff we're going to throw in there also that's being donated by a local GameStop. We have um, Marissa and Eggie from the Adventuring Team will be there. Um, to take pictures to kind of host the event. We'll have Alice Infinity is going to be one of our special judges. We have Martha from Little Red Cosplay is going to be another judge. And then we have actually it's the marketing director from the CW, um, Ariel Analog. And she's going to be one of the judges too, as well as Marissa will be the fourth judge as well. So it looks to be a good con contest we've already we've got an event page up there's already people 24 hours after it going up saying they're going to go so look to have a a really stellar cosplay contest and we will be announcing um a couple of not one but a couple of special groups that are going to be attending QuestCon and helping out with QuestCon. so make sure you tune in if we can stream it we'll stream it We'll stream it right here on this channel. <laughs> Hopefully. We want to. We want to. <laughs> yes! Awesome. So, we have the uh, successful egg hunt, even though it's a little bit wet. We've got the cosplay for charity coming up. Uh, we have QuestCon News coming up on Tuesday night. Yes! Which uh, we'll go over part of this again. No, part of it, part of it. Part of it. Alright, uh, do we have anything else QuestCon related? Um, not at the moment. Um, got to save some of this for the news. Yes, yes. I will tell you this, though. We're doing a walkthrough over at the convention center Tuesday morning, and we're doing it with Kristen over there, who's, who's our liaison to the convention center. And we'll be doing a room by room by room by room going through it and figuring out what tables, what chairs we need, what specifics we need for vendors. Um, now all this is obviously ever-changing as, as the convention takes more shape, but it gives us a template that we can work off of as far as saying, okay, right now we got this many booths, but if this comes in, we're going to lose these, you know, stuff like that. So it's, it's, really, it's really pretty cool. We're, we're very excited 
about um, what's going on, and it just seems like everything's falling into place. It was, it was really weird with the Easter egg hunt. We had a we had a um, couple meetings over in Mobile. Um, had a news interview. A news interview. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I have that if you want to play it. Yeah, play it. They cut out the first minute and a half where we talked about QuestCon, but go for it. All right. <laughs> then All this right. is with me and the director of MobileCon, Lee. All right, let me go ahead and pull it up. Let's see, capture, and that, and then, okay. And we, I am zooming in on it. This was live, by the way. So oh, you did this live? live to see, yeah, people who saw it live got to see the whole thing. Sweet. I, I'm still in the process of requesting the whole clip. Because I want to see it. All right, here Years, we go. And we've kind of gone from hotel to Yay. hotel. We've moved in the Renaissance downtown and gotten a lot bigger this year. We're looking to have a cosplay parade on Saturday morning. It's actually Memorial Day weekend. Um, you can find us at mobilecomiccon.org on the Internet. And um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So. And a big week for all the comic book fans out there. We were just discussing Batman and versus Superman. Lee. The movie Great coming guy. out. Everybody's looking totally forward awesome to that. Guy. But that's a little bit off topic. Getting back on topic, you guys have teamed up with Penelope House for a fantastic Easter egg co hunt coming up this weekend. Tell the folks all about it. So we're going to, um, we're all getting together at uh, 10 a.m. on Saturday morning at the Municipal Park. Uh, Penelope House will be there doing some outreach in the community, um, trying to get some cosplayers on board out there, get some photo ops for everybody. So it should be a lot of fun. All right, tell the folks a little bit about how you particularly, because it seems like an interesting partnership between QuestCon, Mobicon, and Penelope House. How did this all come together? Well, one of the big things about Mobicon and QuestCon is we want to give back to the Mobile community. Mm -hmm. So when we started asking some questions, you know, what's, what's some really good charities and everything, and not to exclude from any others, mm -hmm. Penelope House came up over and over and over again. So we contacted Tony from Penelope House, learned a little bit about her organization and what she did, and, and, and we're blown away. You know, we didn't realize that domestic acts of violence were occurred every nine seconds, and only 25% of them were reported. Mm -hmm. So the Penelope House helps women and children get their life straight. And um, it just sounded right up our alley. Yeah, my wife used to work a little bit with Penelope House, so it's definitely close to our, heart, but th our hearts. But this sounds like a lot of fun, so let's tell the folks the important information one more time so they can come on out. There you see it, actually, the Easter egg hunt Saturday at 10 a.m. at Municipal Park. You want to come on out, and for the kids, make sure to bring those Easter baskets, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Anything else we need to add, fellas? Um, well, we're going to have some cosplayers there, so if you want to take some pictures with some neatly dressed people, then, you know, come hang out, get to know us a little bit, learn more about MobileCon, QuestCon, Penelope House, come hang out with us. I think it's a win-win for all involved. Going to be a great event this Saturday. Go check it out. We'll repost all this information on our Studio 10 web tab as well. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Heading back into the kitchen after this with the Admiral Hotel. Chef Samuel is working on shrimp right. scan. Um, yes, it's really a shame because they, they cut out, um, when they did the video, they obviously cut it for whatever reasons, you know, to make space for whatever. And they actually cut out the description um, that I gave for QuestCon and Lee actually gave for Mobicon. It, um, the important thing is they got the information about the Penelope house there, which is all I was really concerned about. If we're lucky, I'm trying to request the full video clip and we'll be able to show it Tuesday. Um, on the news, the QuestCon news. Awesome. I'd like to see that because it is it is disappointing, but it's important that the Penelope House got out. Absolutely. freaking lutely So, all right, unless there's anything else you have to say, I think we're done for the night, don't you? Oh, uh-oh, one more thing. Are we one the, more thing. We're pulling the seat jobs. Remiss. We're pulling the seat jobs. I would be remiss if I did not talk about the real-life get-together. <sighs> I can't believe I forgot he's going to fire me. Nope. Nope, somebody's got to tape everybody there. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we'll have better internet connection than we have in years past. But um, look, guys, it's the real life get-together. If you're not there, you're missing out, seriously. The core leadership, most of the founders, Wendell, you know, the, the, the people who, who your leadership in, in your game more than likely is going to be at this get-together, come join us. You know, it's June or yeah, June 16th through 19th, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Come join us. It is an amazing time. You can find a link at the top of the site. Important grievance information. Real life get together. Come join us. We've got a castle. We have a castle. 
and I agree with Cooch, please better internet. <laughs> <laughs> he worked miracles last year. He yeah. worked miracles. But yeah. we've got everything, um, all the equipment and everything ready to go. So, yes, bring more books for the raffle. Bring everything for the raffle. Our raffle items are going to be low this year because cons have gotten more stingy. They don't give out stuff. We'll be having plenty of grievance stuff that we'll be auctioning, but you got anything you want to throw to the raffle? Throw it. We'll take it. Yes. Anything and everything. And there have been some exciting stuff in the past. I heard rumors Sky's getting something really special for a grand prize. I have no idea what it is. Um, she's going to be doing some games, too, while we're there. So it'll be really, really interesting. Sweet. That's really exciting. Yes, I'm going to be there. Steel's going to be there. Everybody you want to meet is going to be there. I will definitely be there. <laughs> and and I hear word that Deuce is cooking pizza. Deuce is cooking pizza Friday night. Blight is cooking breakfast Sunday morning. Um, Trass is pre-smoking Boston butts, bacon Ooh. explosions. We'll have barbecue bacon wrap, shrimp, all the food you could want. Oh, yeah, Evelyn is also sending a care package for the raffle. Um, I already know what that is. It'll be a good surprise, but she does beautiful work. So, guys and gals, it is it's going to be an amazing event. It'll just be amazing to be in that freaking castle. <laughs> it's huge, 18,000 square foot. Let's with see. With a helicopter pad out front. Let's see if we can fill this one up. Every year, we've... we've, we've, we've no, we've, we can't do no bigger. <laughs> <laughs> we've, we've, we've been packing it to the gills. Every year, we've been packing it to the gills. We've got how many thousand square feet? 18,000 square foot. We've got eight, I, think, I think the room they got me in is 1,000 of that. We've got 18,000 square feet <laughs> I, to fill people. <laughs> 17. <laughs> and this is why, Lord Scythe, you need to be on here promoting because you need to get all your BDO people to the get-together. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, Scythe talked all this bravado about, oh, I'm going to beat Twistbeard this year. I'm going to beat Twistbeard. Hey, Scythe, the WoW Horde Guild has more than you got going right now. <laughs> Matter of fact, twist your bell, look out. The horde is marching. <laughs> I believe the 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 uh the uh, glove has been thrown or dropped times. or whatever. <laughs> so uh let's see who's coming. Let's see who's gonna win that. Damon, if we break the air conditioning, you better know how to fix it. Yeah, yeah. And Uru, I'm counting on two thousand eighteen. <laughs> Ooh, Uru's coming to twenty eighteen? Yeah, it's, well, you know, and congratulations to Uru. I think it's his um, either 10th or 15th year anniversary. It's, it's one of the two. It's a very special Hallmark anniversary. So, you know, him and Evelyn are going to do something special for that. And congratulations to them. So, awesome. Congratulations. All right. I think we will call it, unless there's one more. Th I think, is, it, is that it? We, that, that's we, it for me. Okay. We're sure? Yeah. Nothing else. Mm, I'll think of it next time. Okay, all right. That's it, people. Uh, interested in streaming? Come check me out. We're trying to get this channel popping again. So, yes. A, any streaming? Come contact me. We'll get you on there. We'll get. We'll. I want to see. I want to see every game that we're in have at least a few hours a week on this stream. If you have a show you want to do, come talk to me. We'll we'll see if we can put it together and what you need, and then we can get a show going for you. It doesn't have to be strictly about gaming it just has to be gaming related yep so come contact me absolutely all right good night everyone thanks for thanks for coming y'all stay safe and play on woohoo